drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Curry! Well, as you may have heard, the Giants are close to a deal with Korean infielder Jae Gyun Hwang. Now, they may have him on the roster come April. He'll get a shot in spring training to make the team. It's going to be interesting to follow the story of somebody coming from Korea after a decade trying to crack the major leagues. He'd be the first for the Giants. He would provide some infield depth, third base and shortstop, a bat off the bench, which they need. But maybe the most interesting thing right now about Jae Gyun Hwang is that playing in Korean professional baseball, the KBO, he has perfected the art of the bat flip. If you've seen some of the videos, tremendous wrist strength. Just choop, the thing goes 30 feet. In the KBO, they have elevated bat flips to an art form. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the contract. You've got to have artistic bat flips in KBO. I also wouldn't be surprised if some players strained muscles flipping bats in the KBO. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that uh, Jae Gyun Hwang is not going to do that in Arizona come spring time. There are some do's or don'ts in uh, Major League Baseball in the United States when it comes to bat flips, and he's going to get educated on that. For one thing, don't do it when Madison Bumgarner is on the mound. Right or wrong, just don't do it, unless, of course, you've hit a walk-off in support of him. There are some other do's and don'ts I, I wrote down that uh, perhaps they can pass along to Jae Gyun Hwang. Don't bat flip when it's nothing to nothing in the first inning. Don't bat flip when you're up by 10 runs or you're down by 10 runs. For God's sakes, don't bat flip it into the crowd. Don't bat flip it toward the pitcher. Don't bat flip it and look at the pitcher. And uh, you pony leaguers and little leaguers, just don't do it at all. It's bad for them. Uh, it is possible to flip a bat and not disrespect your opponent. Uh, there are some sometimes where it's jubilation, where it's the right moment. If you hit a walk-off, you can't help it. Some players are going to flip the bat. Uh, there are cases where you hit a big home run in the postseason, like Joey Bats for the Toronto Blue Jays against the Rangers in 2015. That was a moment to flip the bat. Now, he milked it a little too long, and emotions were already high in that game, and he certainly added to it. But it was a big moment, so you can understand why somebody might flip the bat. But uh, for Jae Gyun Wong, it's probably not going to be a moment he's going to experience anytime soon. Hopefully for the Giants, he does in 2017. Now, I should add a, a codicil to this. Uh, dropping the bat is okay. For example, Brandon Belt, Game 2, NLDS, 2014, 18th inning against Washington on a cold night, hitting the go-ahead home run. Yeah, drop that bat. As a matter of fact, Brandon Belt was too tired to hold it up. So uh, we'll add that into the mix. Uh, we have a lot of unwritten rules in baseball. These are some of them on bat flips. Well, I guess I wrote them down. If you have any other suggestions, by all means, tweet me at RayWoodson680.